so mad. I literally just filmed this entire video and then realized that it wasn't recording. I've had my first annoying YouTube moment and it's it's not cute, it's not fun, it's not super fun and fresh. I'm annoyed. Anyways, let me start over. Hello, I'm Amanda, I'm back. All around me a familiar face. So today's video is going to be about my web-based interview and my phone interview. It'll be a very fun time. So let's get started. So I got my web-based interview about a month after I applied for my college program. Woohoo! It took way too long for me to get. I was literally anxious for that entire month. I wanted to die. But it's fine because I got it. So I got home, took the WBI, everything went perfectly fine, scheduled my interview right after, boom, bam, bop. I did really well. So let me give you some tips and some tricks and some example questions from the web-based interview first, and then we will move on into the phone interview. So, the web-based interview is full of trick questions. Literally, they will ask you the same question like 10 times in different phrasing. So always take your time. They give you about like, like the sections are different. Some sections give you like 30 seconds to answer, some give you 20 seconds. The 20 second ones, I was freaking out. I was just like, I, I can't read this fast. All of a sudden, I'm dyslexic. So just breathe. Just understand that you're going to get through it. And it's fine if you miss one question. It's totally chill. Just trust yourself. Trust your answers, okay? Think, what does Disney want to hear? and you'll be perfectly fine. An example of some of the trick questions that I got were I work really well in groups or I don't like working individually. I thrive when I work individually. So those sort of questions are going to repeat themselves over and over and over again. Always stay consistent. That is my first tip. Stay consistent because that is what they want because if you're not consistent then that shows that you're lying and Disney doesn't want you to lie. So don't lie. They will also ask you a lot about if you're always late or not. Um, I hope you're not always late because if you are always late and you're applying to the college program, it's probably not right for you. So. They also ask a lot about like if you're cool with being outdoors or indoors, that kind of stuff. So basic like job requirement. The questions are easy to answer. Honestly, if you just think the entire time, what does Disney want to hear, and then answer the question, you'll be perfectly fine. Don't overthink your answers. Don't put too many neutrals. That's tip number two. Always answer strongly, like strongly agree, strongly disagree. Rarely ever use neutral. I used three neutrals, and it was because it was on questions that I did not know what Disney would prefer to hear, or it was on questions where it was like, oh, I apply to both of those things. like. I work really well individually, but then I also work well in a group. So I guess neutral? But if you're going to use a neutral, make sure that you're consistent with it. So say if one question you say, I am almost never late. Absolutely agree. And then on the next question they'll say, I do not like being late. Absolutely agree. Then on the next question it's like, I am always on time. And then you start thinking, well, I mean, I'm not always on time, so I'm going to put, like, neutral. Girl, you just goofed. You goofed. You effed up. You're probably not going to pass. Because they want consistency. They want you to stay consistent. And of course, like, Disney understands that, like, things are going to happen. You're not always going to be on time. Like, your car may break down. The bus may catch on fire. Who knows? <laughs> so just trust yourself, trust your answers. Be honest. Because literally, like, if you can't answer the right way, you're probably not right for the company. And that's the tea, sisters. <sighs> On to the phone interview. The phone interview is a little bit more complicated. It is very scary. Ain't gonna lie. But honestly, So the phone interview. It's made out to be this like horrible, scary, nerve-wracking thing. And it is scary and nerve-wracking. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But 
it's a lot more chill than people really make it out to be. Like when I was doing my phone interview, of course my heart was racing because I was like, oh my God, like it's happening, it's really happening. But in reality, you're just kind of like answering questions that are like easy to answer. A lot of the questions that I got were very basic. They were like, like my phone interview was about 16 minutes by the way. They started out with just like going through the motions of like, okay, we just want to confirm that all of our information on our part matches up with your legitimate information. So they asked a lot of questions just like just confirming your school, confirming your major, confirming your birthday, confirming the roles that you want, etc, etc. And they also ask about any tattoos or any piercings, so you gotta let them know all about that. So the interview itself was easy. The first question that they asked me was why do you want to do the Disney College program and how will the Disney College program affect you and help you in your career? That's pretty easy to answer. It's very personal. I just basically said, oh, I want to be an Imagineer, so this is like my foot in the door, you know what I'm saying? They also asked me a lot about my time at the Disney store because I actually worked at the Disney store in my hometown and, you know, I honestly, if I'm being 100% real, did not enjoy my time there purely because of management. Um, I enjoyed like the actual work aspect of it because it was easy, like it's literally just like a retail job. Like you just, you check people out and you help restock and you just talk to guests and you know, hang out. So that, the actual work aspect was chill and my coworkers were so nice, but management just did not like me. I don't think they <laughs> vibed with me very well, which is okay, like you know that it happens. It happens, it's cool. I of course didn't tell her that I hated my time there. I just said, oh yeah, like everything was super fun. I enjoyed the job, blah, blah, blah. And then she asked me, you know, like what was the biggest challenge that you faced when you were there? And I wanted to say, you know, like management didn't really get along with me, but I also didn't want her to think like, oh, well, you're not easy to get along with. So I just said, you know, the hardest part was me adjusting to a new work environment and making friends because at my old job, you know, I've been there for so long and I know everybody there and so it's easy for me to go to work every day because I know everyone but I eventually, you know, I adjusted, I made friends and everything worked out for the best which is exactly what they want to hear, so. So then she asked me this one question that it was the only question that stumped me. I was literally like, <coughs> what? Like, can you please repeat that? So she asked me, what values can you bring to the Disney company after working at the Disney store? I was sitting there and I'm like, okay, what values can you bring to the company? So in my head I was thinking, oh, she means like, what did you learn? You know, like while working at the Disney store that you could bring to the college program that would make you like a better applicant, I guess, and so I was just, I was popping off about, well, you know, like, I have really great public speaking skills, I know how to use the register, I know all about this, this, and this, and this, and this, blah, 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 like, totally amping myself up, and then I hear, like, a vocal pause, and she's just like, um, well, that actually wasn't the question, the question was, she repeats it, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I'm a bit confused by that question, could you please rephrase it? So she rephrases it, and she's like, oh, well, okay, um, you know, what have you learned while you were at the Disney store that you can use on the college program? And I'm like, that's literally <laughs> what I answered, but okay. So then I literally like repeat myself and add a few other stuff in and she was just like, okay, sounds good. I'm like, girl, that's what I, that's what I done said, but okay. Um, so that was the only question that I was like really stumped on. I had no idea why I didn't answer that right, but it's whatever. I'm only a little bitter. So on to the questions about specific roles. So I mentioned to her that I really wanted to work at Bippity Boppity Boutique or be a character attendant. Um, so she asked me how I would make sure that my character is maintaining character integrity, which I then answered, you know, I would make sure that they are portraying that character properly and they are not, um, you know, mentioning to their friends or anything that Oh, I play Cinderella. Like, no, you are Cinderella. 
or you are hanging out with Cinderella. You know what I mean? Like there's no like, oh, I play her in the parks. <laughs> no, ma'am, there is only one Cinderella. Thank you, God. Uh, <laughs> then she asked me if I have any experience in hair and makeup. And I, of course, was like, yes. I have done tons and tons and tons of makeup. I love it so much, blah, 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 blah. I was popping off about Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique because I wanted it so bad. Um, so I gave her this whole speech about like, I just love Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique and I think it's such a beautiful thing to be making like these little girls into princesses and these little boys into pirates and blah, 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 blah. And I was being like way too into it because I wanted her to know how much I wanted to work there. And she was like, oh yeah, like I know I love it so much too, blah, blah, blah. She also asked me if there was an emergency situation, how would you handle it? That's pretty simple to answer, you know, just stay calm. Don't freak out. Make sure that guests are safe and all of that jazz. So then at the end of the interview, she asked me a few other questions that I don't really remember. I'm sorry, I don't remember. It was such a rush and I didn't record it because I got too scared to press record. Sorry. Um, so she asked me if I had any questions for her, which I did. I asked her if there were any networking events for CPs. Um, so when I go, I want to, you know, obviously I want to get into Imagineering, so I really want to go to networking events. So I asked her what sort of events they offer, and she just said, oh, well, we have like different housing events, and we have different mixers and stuff like that, and blah, 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 blah. So that was cool. She just answered that question. Then I asked her how the hours vary for most uh, CPs and like what they look like. She said it really varies. For a lot of them, it's like, 30 to 50 hours a week, but mainly about 35 averaging, which is like expected. I already kind of knew the answer to that question, but I just needed another thing to ask her. So then at that point I said thank you, um, mentioned her name again, that's a tip. Um, I was like, thank you Sandy, like I've had a really great time talking to you and I'm so thankful for this opportunity, blah blah blah, blah. and she's like, oh of course Amanda, like good luck, and like see you soon, I'm like okay, bye bye. And then I hung up the phone and literally was just like, that just happened. Like, what the frick? Oh my god, it was freaking crazy. So, some tips for the phone interview. Sound confident. You know yourself better than anybody else. And if you stutter a little bit, these interviewers are interviewing so many people every day. They're not going to know if you goof up a little bit. Like, it's totally chill. Everything is fine. Don't don't sound scripted. Rehearse, obviously, so that way you know what you want to say, you know what points you want to get to get across. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay, we're back. Know what points you want to get across. What I would do is I would practice in my car, so I would have like a phone interview in my car and ask all the questions that I thought that they were gonna ask and respond to them. Um, I feel like naturally I'm pretty well-spoken, so it was kind of easy for me. But, I don't know. I mean, if you need to practice, you should practice. Just don't sound too rehearsed. Like, it shouldn't sound like you're reading off of the script. Three, make cheat sheets, but don't use them. By this I mean, have cheat sheets all around you if you want to, with different questions that they may ask, but only use them if you absolutely have to. If you're sitting there and you're just like, I do not know how to respond to this question, I'm freaking out, I don't know what to say, reference your cheat sheets, find the question that you're stumped on, and use ideas from that but do not use it unless you need it because if you're just reading everything off a piece of paper they're gonna know that they're not gonna hear your personality and your voice and they're just gonna be like okay another boring ass applique is that the right word i don't know <laughs> another boring person applying who has no personality yawn deny so you know be yourself it's okay if you mess up a little bit they're not gonna know honestly like they don't care they really don't uh i think this is number four I can't do math. Say your recruiter's name. Disney is all about remembering names. So I had Sandy. Sandy was a sweetheart. Loved her to death. Other than that one question that was extremely confusing, she was great. So I said it once in the beginning when I asked her how she was doing. And then like two times during the actual interview, like I'd be like, oh yeah, Sandy, so actually blah 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 incorporate it. And then I said it one last time at the end of the interview just saying, thank you so much for talking to me today, Sandy, blah 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 blah. They love that. They eat that crap up. There are so many other tips, but honestly, my main thing is just 
be yourself. Show them who you really are. Show them how passionate you are and how much you want to get into this program because they can hear it in your voice. They know how much you want to get into this program. So just be yourself, be honest, be truthful, and don't be scared because it's normal. Like it's totally, it's chill to be scared. Like it's, you're going to get nervous, obviously, but don't let that affect your performance because these people, like I said before, they go through so many interviews every single day. Honestly, they're not going to remember that one time you stuttered over your words. And that's the tea. So thank you guys for watching. My next video is going to be my acceptance story and my role reveal. So subscribe for that if you care. No one probably does, but that's fine. <laughs> We're chilling. So thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.